two other named systems, including Lee and Maria, and we'll break it all down for you here in the next couple of minutes. First off, you can see how active the tropics are here in mid-September. Every little circle that you see in the Atlantic Basin, that is all tropical storms and hurricanes. Jose is the closest one off the coast of the southeastern U.S. We have Lee out here in the open waters of the Atlantic, and Maria is now quickly nearing parts of the Lesser Antilles, where we do have tropical storm watches and hurricane watches that remain in effect. We'll start first off though with Jose. No major change through the daytime hours on Saturday. Winds remain at 80 miles an hour, moving to the north at 7. Pressures at 973 millibars. And yes, it is not that terribly far away from the state of Florida, but as it continues to move northward, it's really going to run out of latitude to impact our state with the exception of some high surf along the east coast of Florida. Let's show you the very latest forecast cone. No major changes here either. Anticipated to be kind of a weak category one hurricane, then moving as a tropical storm up towards New England. Yes, it looks like it may be a close call for parts of southern New England, especially Cape Cod, Nantucket, and Martha's Vineyard as we get into Wednesday, but some indications looking more and more likely this is going to stay out to sea. But as we saw with Irma, it could kind of swing its way back towards the west or swing back towards the east. So cities like Boston, Providence, Hartford, even New York City will have to keep a close eye on this system as of next week. Elsewhere, we have Tropical Storm Lee. Good news here, really not bothering anybody with the exception of some shipping lanes moving to the west at eight winds only at 40 miles an hour, and it's just going to kind of stay disorganized. It looks like over the next several days will continue to move its way northwestward and will probably become a remnant low either Wednesday or Thursday out here in the central Atlantic. Probably the most pressing issue is Tropical Storm Maria. This was not a tropical storm earlier on Saturday, it developed very rapidly. Now just kind of holds Holding its own with winds at 50 miles an hour, moving to the west at 16, but it is not that far away from the Lesser Antilles, which again already have tropical storm and hurricane watches in place. And there are some indications this system may really power up as we get into Monday. In fact, now we're talking about the potential for a Category 2 hurricane strike somewhere in the Lesser Antilles heading into Monday night, and we are getting just a smidge more confident potentially of a Category 3 hurricane somewhere near Puerto Rico as we get into Wednesday and then Dominican as we get into Thursday. Way too early to be talking about impacts here in the United States, but unfortunately it could be another close call for Puerto Rico as we get into the latter half of next week. So friends and family there will have to keep a close eye on that system.